Hey, I'll put that on under somebody post on Facebook today. Like it's a hashtag. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> because uh, they were talking about um I think you responded to this too. They were talking about um um white people never say that pale skinned people look better than darker than, than tan people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But black people say that. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's a historical thing. But I don't think that was true. I, I didn't think that was accurate, though. Well, I mean, we just talked about this. We did? Uh, light skinned women look better. Why? No, but, no, I, no, but I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that the stance you took? Hell no. Nah. You oh. remember what I said? You said you was like, you try to put dark on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to yeah. see if they look better. I remember that conversation, but I'm like, wait a minute, did I miss what your final stance no, no, was? No, 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 no. My final stance was just because they light skinned don't mean they look better. We give them a pass because they light skinned. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I was saying that this whole pale versus tanned white is inaccurate. They do have very much so a bias in the, in the white community, in the Caucasian community. Why, that, why you think? Yeah, I saw. I, saw I mean, they run into the tan and beds. I mean, because they feel like that's what their men want, and men mm -hmm. feel like that's what the woman wants. I mean, and that's is the right. That's that. That's what's it, that's their. That's the top of the tier for them. You know what I mean? And if you pale now, I don't know if they rent going around talking about pale mm -hmm. people. And I don't know if we going around talking about dark skin. Are we do, are we doing it? We talk about light skin, dark skin, and we don't do it as much as we used to in say like the nineties. But it's yeah. definitely like dark skinned girls or women definitely feel got a chip on their shoulder. Shaded. Right. Yeah. You feel me? You consider yourself dark skinned? I consider myself brown skin. Brown skin. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting lighter in my older age and I don't know what you the happy hell about is going on. No. <laughs> you know my mom you is this that. color. Yeah. My yeah, mom yeah. is this color, right? Like your mom. Your mom is like lighter than this, probably, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um I thought my mom was white for the long time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Straight up. I um, but I don't know if it's like what is this transition? But I'm like every time I look in the mirror, I just feel like I'm a little bit light. I know it's like winter time, but sometimes even in the summertime, like it's still a little. Mm -hmm. Well, you got I, good skin though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so maybe it's like what you eat. I like yeah. to have my juicing going on. I'm a juice queen. Exactly. I've been juicing since I was 18. For sure. So maybe it's like that. You know, you trying to have a natural diet because say like for instance with dogs, right? Mm -hmm. The better you feed them, the healthier their coat is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I I'm saying? I used to put egg on my dog's coat. He was a black Labrador, mm -hmm. and I used to put egg on a little kid, and I think yep. I read it somewhere. It no. wasn't the internet, clearly, because we didn't have the internet. Right. But, um... No, you're supposed to do that. Yeah. And it looks so... It was black and so shiny, mm -hmm. and I just... I just but if they eat the egg, it's even better. Oh, really? Yeah, because their coat exact... Makeup almost kind of like? It's like makeup, but it's it, it, it definitely shows you how healthy the dog is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a it's um mm -hmm. it's an indicator of the health mm -hmm. of the dog. Yeah. And it's so indirectly almost related to nutrition. Yeah, because when you see mangy dogs, right? <laughs> Them sons of bitches. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> Which literally, like if they're like sons of bitches, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. It's weird. Um, it's weird. <laughs> God, no, like they're things. that's because they out on the street yeah. and they sick and they malnourished, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, yeah, definitely a, a correlation. Right. There. <laughs> so my thought, my thought on the whole thing was that um, he was trying to basically say, you know, we got to get out of that dark skin, light skin stuff. True. Right. But the thing yeah. about it is, it's something that's so drilled into and, us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Ingrained. It's ingrained. It's like. You seen that movie Inception before? I'm sorry, ask me that much. You know. I'm like, okay, well, check this out. The, the basis of it was Inception is is when you put something into a dream, right? Mm -hmm. On the like on a deep level, right? So you go down like four levels and steal the idea, okay. and then boom, you keep coming up the levels of dreams until it's like you don't know where that idea came from. It's just in your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So something it was in us. 200 years ago mm -hmm. and now it's just on top of shit it's just layered on top of things to now we it's in us and a lot of people won't go to the historical part of it i mean well we know where it originated from where it originated from the house but everybody see that's what i'm saying every black pe person does not give that credit to that where do they think it originated from they don't think about it well, you, know, you know what i'm saying like they don't Think about it because they don't give a damn about saying, oh man, that's some nappy ass hair. They that do now. Oh, some, 
Not Today every, they not do. everybody. It's a few people. No, the the trend has moved us in a direction where we have shifted to no. mm-hmm. natural hair is not nappy hair. Natural hair is natural hair, and it is to be coveted. I think it's shifting that way. Yes. Okay, now you're I right. one hundred percent there. Mm-hmm. It definitely has taken a huge shift that way. You know, I mm-hmm. cut my hair off. Right. To, what two years ago? Right. Something I would have never done. I'm like creamy cray addict. Never will you ever catch me without a perm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you've been an '80s baby. That's how. Yeah, that's how right. Ready, because yeah. I was given a perm by my mom when I was, I think, in fifth grade. Of course, because she probably couldn't handle that shit. It was a lot. Like, a lot of sitting hair. down there, you crying and you acting like silly, and she but was, like, it hurt. Sitting, uh, at, sitting at the stove <laughs> with, with the comb. hot comb on it, like. Man, I used to hate the way that shit smelled. <laughs> I swear I used to hate the way hot comb hair smell, man. Oh my and you burning hair with that grease. Nobody likes oh. the smell of burnt hair. Man, it used to make me throw up, man. Like <laughs> when hot cry, I, I, I'm telling you, you, I had, had all it. sisters, so you know. Yeah, exactly. And I got PTSD from that. If I hear some, if I smell some hot comb, hot comb, like some hot irons warming up, dude, I gotta go outside. I'm gagging. Cause it's just not my sisters. It's like. My aunts, mm-hmm. my cousins, like all of yeah, them. My grandma used to take me with her. So. I used to be around it too much, and now I'm like, with that blue magic grease, get that blue magic grease on there. <laughs> Put it away back. You know when niggas used to have hair. <laughs> oh my you know goodness. what I'm saying? So, yeah. so basically, that's why I'm feeling like, okay, now you have. The white people that get tanned, it's not a big community of them. Oh, shit. Anybody who think they somebody. Exactly. Getting tanned. Getting tanned and who works out, who cares about their health, they get tanned. And so, no, you could care about your health if you getting tanned. You care about your, that, that's, that's your narcissism. Look. You care about your it's look. Narcissism. Yeah. I, that's true. <laughs> because but, but particularly with them not having any melanin yeah. and the exposure of skin cancer and you still doing that, you don't care about your health. You just care about. But, but, but let me ask you this, though. If you are somebody who's susceptible to being tan, and you like you say you're a scientist, mm-hmm. if you're susceptible to be to becoming tan, mm-hmm. does that not benefit you in the long run from UV rays? Is it helpful to you to have a tanned body? Because this was my thought process. Okay, um, if we were like wild animals, mm-hmm. there would be no more white people because I feel like natural selection, would, you know, would definitely May cancel, cancel, cancel them, them out, out. Yes, because yes. we're like, oh, this skin color is susceptible to skin cancer. Mm-hmm. Oh, then. And you out all day outside, yeah. so yeah. Right, so we would definitely not be. We would not have that as a race at this point. Yeah. Oh, this R. Kelly thing is so deep. It just runs so deep. Can is I just deep, say, though? listen, it's very deep. I'm gonna tell you, listen. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just so much okay, I can check say. This out. I don't think they're making it deeper than what it should be. This man was molested by his sister when he was 15. And that could be the reason why he's attracted to... No, he to, was like 16. No, seven. why his, his sister was 15. His sister was 15 so molesting deep. him while he was like 7. Right? Mm-hmm. What if that's like... That? It's just so much Okay, I check say. this out. I don't think they're making it deeper than what it should be. This man was molested by his sister. His sister was 15 molesting him while he was like 7. Right? Mm-hmm. What if that's like, that created a mark? Like, bam. Oh, it does. Bam. Oh, it does. That's why he liked young girls. His first sexual experience was with 15 year old. And it was from somebody that he would naturally would love. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure he did not appreciate what was going on, but right. there should be a lot of, I'm no psychologist, but there should be a lot of confusion going in there. And so I think. When you start really fucking with the mind like that, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You don't know which way you're going to go. I, 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 I sympathize. Um, I feel sorry for him. Uh, because I think he is doing what, and I am not taking up for him, and I want people to <laughs> understand that, but he yeah. is doing what a lot of people doing, what a lot of people do uh, when they have been stripped of their power. They kind of talked about that in, in, in the documentary. But he is able to do it on such a grandiose level because, because he has so much money, yeah. right? Yo ass, you over there, you over there, you mm-hmm. over there, you doing the same thing, mm-hmm. but you doing it on such a low level because you don't have it like you that. Case and point. Okay. 
And I talked about this on, on Facebook too. A lot of people were on Facebook like, I'm unfriending anybody who doesn't, who, who says something and, and, and takes up for R. Kelly. They getting unfriended. They getting unfriended today. I mean, they were just like all of these PSA announcements about who is getting unfriended, who is getting unfriended. I'm like, you are doing the same thing he did. He was stripped of his power and now he's trying to take some power back, right? Right, right, right. You're stripped of your power. You don't have no power None over whatsoever. what anybody thinks or feels. None whatsoever. You think you're taking it back by unfriending them. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you still don't yeah, have no power. Say that. <laughs> right. You're not taking back. You, you still don't have no power. But <laughs> you think you are. Right. And you're doing what you think you can do in order to make yourself feel like you have, you the, have power. the power. He did the same. You're doing the same thing he did. You're just doing it on a smaller level. What I'm saying is, it's in us to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, how he is manifest, I think it was totally wrong. I think it was way crazy and morose and any other words you can, egregious and whatever other words you want to think of. Right. But he's, the, the systematic pattern mm -hmm. of what's going on is what damn near everybody does in various situations where they want to just gain their power back right so you feel like it's all about power i think it definitely so it's not even it's not about sex or sexual deviance to you it's about power hell yeah when you keep somebody from they because if it was about sexual deviance mm -hmm. you know if if that girl was doing whatever and y'all had this type of relationship or whatever um, the power is keeping her away from her parents. The right. power is keeping her away from her loved ones, keeping her secluded, not letting her do it, making her ask you for food, making her ask you to go to the restroom, putting her head down when people come in. That's a power dynamic. No, that's definitely a power yeah. trip. Mm -mm. So was the power so that he can like continue his sexual deviance though? You think? Or was it he just wanted the power? Like maybe his sister stripped him of his power. Absolutely she did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's the part I sympathize about because, again, no matter how that manifests to what he's doing today, at the start point, point of it all, that should not have happened to him as a child. Should right. not happen to anyone. And it happens to so many. Really? Luckily, thank the Lord above that I can say I'm one person that has never, that has never happened to me in any type of way. Mm -hmm. But like 90% of my girlfriends, the answer is yes. Yeah. You know what and I mean? And, and a lot of them... Don't even like to talk about it. They don't. Yes, yeah, it's, it's painful. Well, you know what? It brings me back to, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll just divert just for a second, but remember mm -hmm. the book Precious and the movie Precious, mm -hmm. right? I read the book before I saw the movie. I'm sure the book was probably five. Right. Yeah. Well, ain't nothing about that situation. <laughs> was, I mean, I'm saying it was, it, was it, was it was a good book. Yeah, but yeah. it went into a lot of detail. And so, yeah. but I remember, you know, at some point she looked for her father to come in. Mm -hmm. and to have sex with her. And right. at some point, she enjoyed it. Sure. And when he wasn't there, she had withdrawals of him not coming in to do that. Mm -hmm. So you know it's wrong. You know it's not supposed to be happening, but then it becomes your norm. That's weird, right? It's so weird, but the brain is a tricky thing, the you know? The brain is tricky. Um, sex is a powerful thing. And too. so I think that's what it is. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Even with, with him, it's like, this is my norm. Because you think that happened for it went it didn't happen it wasn't a one time instance no nope. it happened over the course of life oh that shit happened his whole life around Damn that time right. that was his life so right man wow yeah and I think enough people are not sympathizing with that part they of the sympathize. story they, they say this they say oh well he should have got him some help that's like saying a, telling a fat person fat people don't just go to the gym they right. go to Popeyes nigga <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? More. Exactly. They more. and they go get more. Yes. You know what I'm if saying? If it's in their power, hello. If exactly. it's in their power to get more. Right. And then he had people around him that was facilitating it, right? enabling, enabling him. Yes, 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 yes. Giving up for him, letting him do, allowing him to do this mm -hmm. stuff. And you know why? The money. And but then too exactly because the money they go into their pocket the right money, you don't yeah. want to be the only one telling him oh. no because what he gonna do he gonna get rid of you he taking the money now away. but then I don't sympathize with nobody in his camp hell no nah. that's solely off of oh them niggas need to go to jail right it, yeah everybody who was facilitating yeah needs to go to jail first all of them everybody who was enabling needs to go to jail first everybody man. But, because cause they don't have a reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. And again, I am not giving R. Kelly a pass. But there is something that turned this switch on in him. Mm -hmm. Right. Because um, they could have went to the law. 
They could have gone to they, they could have went to the law. Right? They could have got yeah. another fucking job. They could have got, got a different job. You know, which brings me to how bad do you want something? Right? Mm-hmm. Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Okay. So you telling me this man. Now, don't don't get me wrong. I don't agree with I don't agree with what he did, mm-hmm. the stuff that he was doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? But acting is an art, right? It's an artistic career. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you, do you, you think acting can be taught or no? I think that anything can be taught. Okay. Are you gonna be great at it? <laughs> That's a different thing, right? right? Right. Are you gonna be good at it? Probably not. Right. You might be decent. Right. But some people are just born with that. Of course. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you come and you Melanie you Melanie the Beautiful, mm-hmm. you want this role. Out of them next thousand women that's outside right. want this role. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, for some reason, I feel like it started somewhere. Okay, so you want this role. It's not like you. It's not like you work for me right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not your. I'm not. I'm not the the director LinkedIn, at your right. company. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stopping your progression in this industry. Right. Now that would be wrong. Right. But you telling me you want this job out of all these other women. I'm not doing nothing. I didn't say I mean, nothing. Are you saying what you gonna do for it? I'm not saying what you gonna do for it. Okay, check this out. That's what you're saying, Sean. Think about the Shark Tank. Okay. All right. Love that show. I love it too. Mm-hmm. Now you want me to invest <laughs> in your idea <laughs> when there's all these people outside that want me to invest in this idea, and I only got this much money. What do you have to offer? It should not be, sex should not be a part of the option of offer package. It should not be. But why is it a crime that it is? It's her pussy. It's her mouth. It's her body. The details and, 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 of the wine of, the, of, of Harvey. Uh-huh. There, there's a lot. There's okay. a lot. But there's another route. Yeah, a lot of people ain't gonna like me for what I'm about to say. Yeah, you talk okay. shit. So I'm, I'm gonna talk my shit. Yeah. But... As a, and I'll, I'll bring it to myself just to keep it real, real neutral here. As a 16 year old, okay, as a 15 year old, 16 year old, you're exploring all of those hormones, <clears throat> all those hormones and all those feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, back in my day, okay, okay. I really liked Jagged Edge. What's up? Particularly the twins, right. okay. You can't tell me at the age of 16, 15, I, I don't know about 15, definitely around 16, had one of those members of Jagged Edge <laughs> come to me. Right. Okay. And at the time, I think they were a little bit older. Like, how much older are they then? Maybe maybe like a 10-year gap. Probably not quite as much as the R. Kelly thing. But what I'm saying is, let me, let me bring it back to, to the point, which is this. When you are a fan of someone and that yeah. person gives you attention. Oh, my God. Hello, somebody. You feel me? Okay. I'm getting on that tour bus. Yeah. Okay. Of course you're getting I, on that I, tour I, bus. I, I, and I'm probably might do some things that they ain't never done before. When at yeah. 16, I wasn't even having sex. But damn it, I can't say what I would have done had one of them twins approached me. Of course. Are they taking advantage of me or am I taking going with... Taking advantage of your situation. Or am I taking advantage of them? That's Nobody really knows. That's a good point. Nobody really knows. You know what I mean? Nah. Um... Again, it's not those girls' fault. That's not what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, for you to find yourself in that situation, right? You got to take some accountability. You do, and that's 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 my problem. Yeah. None of and the women like, take it. And no black woman is gonna like to hear me say that. But that's that's the, Man, when I think real. about Let who I am. That's just the truth. Because they saying that you're blaming the victim. That's right. that's people's mm-hmm. thing now. But. It's true though. Yeah. When you step your ass in that tour bus, you know what might you go know, down. You know what might go. You know what may be asked of you. Mm-hmm. And and a lot of them even said, you know, I did it because it was R. Kelly, and I didn't want him to not want me anymore by telling him no. But had you told him no, you could have went back to your your normal usual life. Regular no life. skin would have been off your back. He don't own your mama's house. He don't hit <laughs> the boss at your job. Wow. You could have told him no and move and, and deal with it, and life would have went on as usual. You ain't got to mess with. There R. Kelly. was something that you wanted out of that situation. Some of them wanted to be singers. 
So 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 let me ask you this then. Would you consider you, yeah. if you get on that, that tour bus, could you call them and they whatever happens happen, could you call them a master manipulator? They got fame and they got money. And they influence you to do certain things. Are you being manipulated? I don't think that's where the master manipulation comes in. The master manipulation comes in uh, uh, um, down the line, right? Um, well, of course. Because in the beginning, two people have a, an interest in what they're doing. Right. Uh, you, you don't know it's going to go down this, this dark abyss, mm -hmm. right? But it's just two people that have an, an interest. For you to continue on in that situation is where the master manipulation comes okay. in. So, so you're being manipulated because you really don't want to leave. Like, so this happens in marriages a lot and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So someone ends up taking advantage because mm -hmm. someone is more invested than the other. Mm -hmm. But because that person is more invested than the other, are they being manipulated or are they just more invested than the other person? Would you agree that in a relationship, there's always one person that's... Loves more than the other? Not love, but more invested. Man, you ain't going to be that much more invested unless you... You could be infatuation. You don't always have to be love. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people skew love and infatuation all the time. But at a point of marriage, we're beyond infatuation. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I feel you. <laughs> you, you we can go all day on a relationship, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes even in a relationship, you get way Okay, so does that person who is not, who is invested more, can you say they're being manipulated? Not necessarily. Okay, so they're just more invested. Well, <laughs> so psychologically, right? Mm -hmm. People believe, right? And this is research. I'm going to go into I'm not a psychologist, but yeah. people believe that the more you do for a person, the more they will like you and love you, right? So, yeah, sometimes if, if, that's, they, if that's their love language. If I buy Sean yeah. those phone posits, if I da 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 da, da whatever, mm -hmm. or if, if your love language is, is uh, so there's gifts and then there's what's acts of service. Acts of service. If, if I'm coming to your house, taking out the trash every day, I don't know whatever it may be, right? But the more mm -hmm. I do for you, you figure that out about what, what I get it. Yeah, the more I do for you mm -hmm. is the more you'll like me. But that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's not how the psyche works. Right. It's actually the opposite. The mm -hmm. more I can get you to do for me, right, the is more. the more that you will like me. You will like me, right? Exactly. And, and if you doing all this for me, I'm like, eh, it's all right. You just gonna really take me for granted. Mm -hmm. But if you start doing things for me, mm -hmm. you will begin to love me more and more and more. Because if you're doing things, you're vested. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely. You definitely right. vested. But mm -hmm. say if you doing things for me, right, mm -hmm. to make me happy. And, you know, you did one thing, say it's like crack. You, you, you get that one hit, and then every night you're doing stuff, and you don't necessarily get see me get as happy as I was that first time. Okay. And you can, and I'm like, oh, you got me this little tape. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> that creates something in your mind, a hunger to want to achieve. Get him back yes. to that first yes. uh, reaction that, that he gave reaction. me when I first, like, why is he not... Doing but then they talk about that harder. too. Uh -huh, right, yeah. You start going harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm reading this book called How to Talk to Anybody, right? Mm -hmm. So the lady. Oh, I have that book! You have that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey. Have yes, you read I it? Have it? I have. Yo, the... And actually, I think it's either in that book mm -hmm. um, that I just that I read what I, what I was just saying about um, doing things to people, or it's another book called um, How to Get Anybody to Do Anything. Oh, I got to read that. Yeah, that's a good one too. Let me yeah. write that down. <laughs> So basically, you know what I'm saying, the author, I don't know if you remember this part, she talks about compliments, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to be very selective on how you compliment people. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know, I, I kind of knew certain things before, but I didn't really know how to really do it. Like say, my thought process was, yo, I'm going to compliment someone on something that no one really compliments them on. You feel me? Okay. So I would pick something like, like, say if no one compliments you on your mold right there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people do. What side is that on? Yeah, they do. So, but if I didn't never notice anyone, I'm like, man, you know, I'm just not noticing that mold. That's fly. It's a beauty mark, people think. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me, beauty mark. <laughs> you know, not, not mold, mold, mold. It's not just drawing my attention, mold. It's beauty mark. <laughs> beauty mark. 
<laughs> the beauty mark. And I have two. Birth one mark. right here and one right here. Ah, okay. So I'm let's say this beauty mark. mark. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm sure people don't really see that. I right, never right, noticed that. Really that. Like, hold up. Hold up. Move, move your chin up. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Like, man, I never noticed that. That's why you so pretty. You feel you me? beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> you got two. You know what Melanie, the beautiful, beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I would do. Right. Like, oh, shit. But people would take it as being disingenuous. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's weird. They'd be like, I don't, I don't know how to trust you. You trying to be funny or something? Uh, like, no. Because you gave some thought Mm -hmm. um, to the compliment that you were going right. to give. Okay, so the author of that book says you should only do that once, twice a year. Give some thought to the compliment? Right, because if you do it too much, people don't know how to take it. They feel like you have an ulterior motive. They feel like you, you joke, something. Mm -hmm, they yeah. feel weird about it. Mm -hmm. And because people feel weird about it, that's why you don't compliment the way you should. And that's why people don't compliment the way they should. She gave an example of me telling you, oh, shit, man, I like that, that hoodie you got on right mm -hmm. there. And then you say something like, man, you like this? This old thing? Yeah. So it makes the person feel like, damn, maybe she thinking I got bad taste. Oh, I don't know how to compliment her now. I thought it was fly. <laughs> I don't know what fly is. <laughs> right, so then right. you notice that this person never compliments you anymore. And you mm -hmm. wonder, now nah, I got on some fly shit. He ain't said nothing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because now he doesn't know. He but doesn't. He doesn't know how to compliment you. Why? Because you because she said, oh, this old thing? Mm -hmm. I did something. Mm -hmm. Anytime you compliment a woman about her nails, 90% of the time, she'd be like, man, I need to get them done. I need to get them. Yo, so I just started doing that mm -hmm. just to see how much it would, how, mu how much people would do it. Mm -hmm. you know What's what the saying? percentage of people? Yo, I swear it's like 99%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't catch a woman the day after she get her nails done... Mm -hmm. Hey, that compliment. Don't give that don't, damn compliment. Don't give that compliment. <laughs> don't tell a woman how her nails look, people. Don't do it. But you know, I think a lot of women in general, and I mm. had this problem too growing up. To my aunt, it, it was a turning point in my life. My aunt, shout out to my auntie Claire. I love. Her. Is that the same one with the big belly husband? No, it's not. Oh, I saw, 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 not I shout out to Auntie Claire. <laughs> My, my grandmother had 12 children, so okay. I have like five aunts, and we're all pretty, you know, close. Mm -hmm. um, I can say that I am one of, like, the I don't want to say I'm the flyest one in the family because I, I don't want to take that. But when I come to the to the functions, to the dinners, I got makeup on, I got da-da-da-da, yeah, where everybody yeah, yeah. else You're may just point. come. I'm, I'm going to be on point. Even for family. Right, even for, definitely stuff. for That's family. Stuff, yes, man. I want you to. People what, take family yeah, for granted. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you see me, I want you to know I'm doing good. Even mm. if I ain't doing good, it need to look like I'm doing good, I honey. Sauce so, so all on me. Sauce so, all so on me. So, so, well, you know, um, I would come and, like, all of my aunties and people, different people at the party, and stuff, they'll be like, oh, your makeup is so nice or this, da, 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 da. And, like, and I say, oh, you know, it, it, just, it ain't do the same thing. Throw the comment, throw the compliment away. Yeah. Once, one time auntie heard me say that and I guess she was just to hear. Yeah, she was tired of that shit. Yeah. She said, why every time somebody compliments you, you don't take it? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. When somebody compliments you, your ass better run with it. Yo. <laughs> is what she said. Babe, you got to. That's what the lady said. I don't know if you didn't notice, but mm -hmm. every time, if you ever compliment me, Sean, mm -hmm. I don't never tell you, like, oh, yeah, thank you. I got it from here. I got it from there. Da, yeah. da, da, da. Yeah, you do. I don't never, ever be like, you know, mm -hmm. oh, this song, this old. Uh. Right. But I used to do that. Mm -hmm. I used to do that probably up until the age, probably in my 20s. I was still doing it till my aunt said that. And I was like, well, she damn sure right. right. Why the hell am I throwing comments back? Why, I mean, I mean, I mean compliments it's back. Accept it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, that shit is fly, it's which is why I put that's it That's why out. I did it. That's, you know? what, exactly. that's, that's why, why I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, and and right. that's what that's what the lady said. She said, even if you feel like you are, so, are going to say, oh, this old thing, you should be like, Oh, this old thing, man, I'm happy somebody like it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was this. Thank accept you. Accept it in some kind of way. Accept you got it. people you don't accept bring it, back it around. bring it back around to accept Reel it. Reel it back right? in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Just like that. And mm -hmm. and that's that's important. You like know when I went to work the other day, yeah. I know damn well over these holidays, I didn't gain so much weight. 
<laughs> and one of my one of my work colleagues like, oh girl, you look like you're losing weight. I said, who me? Well, I'm gonna run with it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, what I'm gonna be like? No, the hell I ain't. I gained X amount of pounds. Though. I'm not but you gonna know say that, that people will do that. Yeah, all people will do it all the time. I'm not gonna do it to myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Anymore. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> on Married at First Sight, on the show, mm -hmm. the woman was talking about... What is Married at First Sight? Okay, so what happens is experts, like a psychologist, mm -hmm. a sociologist, mm -hmm. and a, um, like a, a minister. Okay. <laughs> you know, they pick people based randomly. Based on like a profile? Based on a profile, based on what they like, based on what their needs are, and they put people together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this show is in like eight seasons, seven seasons right now. Okay, yeah. You know, and it started off dope, but only, out of all them seasons, only three people are together. And there's always I've four people per season. Again. Four couples per season. Think about it. They need they to be off the, the air. work. I know, yeah, right? They shit need to be off the air. It's just entertaining, though. Right. You feel me? So... She just met the dude. They hugging. She was like, hey, what you like about him? Well, he makes me feel safe. Like, bitch, you don't even know him. Like, what do you mean? How he make you feel safe? So, I've heard a lot of women say this over the years. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you make me feel safe. I feel safe when I'm with you. What the fuck is that? Is that like Whitney Houston? Is that like the bodyguard? Kevin Costner? What is that? So, man, we we y'all bodyguards out here. That's I what mean, we do. Why not? That, you, you're supposed to be the protector, right? Have so, you ever... Am I? Uh, what, you want me to start scrapping if we get into a fight in the club? I mean... If we, if we get in a fight in the club, we both need to be <laughs> scrapping. I mean, definitely, but okay, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm not going to be like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fight him, fight me. Hold on, <laughs> hold on my nigga. Right. You get in front of... Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Not yeah. <laughs> oh no, you seem like that no, type. I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, now. okay, yeah. I, mean, you know, I definitely kinda am that type. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, it. there was an incident where but it was it was a woman and I had to step in. Okay. Okay, with my husband. Oh, on site. On site. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah well, like what yeah. you're not gonna do is yeah, yeah. And the person was intoxicated, so they didn't really necessarily mean to do what they were doing. But at some point, I don't give a shit. You're going to take accountability. Now, you're not going to be grabbing on my husband and, you know, being aggressive with him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In what way? Not not in a sexual way, okay. but like in an, in an aggressive way. Like she was mad. Yeah. Like okay. she wasn't mad at him. She was mad at somebody else, and he was trying to break it up. Mm. Right. Tell me I like to run. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me. Baddest man hit my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? Nah, he oh, like, I must have been showed up. Now, if anybody want to fight, fight me. <laughs> so, well, this is one of Sean's wild birthday encounters. Right. Um, where a lot of shit went down that night, oh, but that's God. a whole nother podcast. Oh, nother. But, yeah. <laughs> but he was acting as the protector, right. Jerron was. So, mm -hmm. and um, in a situation where a man can't hit a woman, obviously, then I will be the protector. But then, aside from that, he to be the protector and so there's an energy that you get no okay so it's it, it's based off energy oh, energies is, is oh, oh, oh sure. energies is a major thing sure. so you feel like because yeah, okay. any woman i've been like man be like man you i feel, feel safe you, you can feel insecurity no. through energy confidence mm. through energy love through energy it's a shitload of stuff you can feel through energy alone and you mm. can get that energy mm. within minutes of being around. i normally do I, yeah, I'd be feeling that. I'm good at If you ain't energy. reading energies yeah. in 2019, I don't know what you're doing with your life, okay? You got to come into a situation and try to pick up on the well, energy. I, I feel you, but you know, it's a lot of, it's a select people out here that's not up on certain things. Just like you come up in here with your, your fruit and mm -hmm. your, 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 your fruit smoothie or whatever that is. My is juice. And your juice. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. A lot of people not on that wave. And I, and I, don't, I don't know what kind of people that you follow on on social media but mm -hmm. i see a lot of people that's like stuck yo this girl unfriended me right yeah. and i didn't Let's even realize that she unfriended talk me about it yeah. yeah she unfriended me she she shared a post saying showing a whole bunch of jordans right that mm -hmm. weren't retros okay but right but they were jordan brand but they weren't like the 12s or okay okay, okay tens yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so she so somebody was saying on the post look these ain't Jordan. Stop wearing these. Mm -hmm. So I asked, they, 
how aren't they Jordans? Right. You know, I I, I wear Jordans. Or hundred dollar Jordans, or like the eighty nine. They have like a hundred and twenty. Yeah, I mean, they, they have like Jordan brand, and then they have retro Jordans. Mm -hmm. Right. Mac like to wear retro Jordans. All people like to wear retro Jordans right now. All people right like now. to wear, yeah. And, which is, uh, we can you know, it is worse. Me saying that it might be worse than saying my R. Kelly opinion. So I'm gonna leave that to myself because this girl unfriended me over this. What did you say? Mm -hmm. I said, why? What? I was like, so these aren't Jordans. She, you know how when you look like somebody, somebody's about to respond, you see the little like, thing, yeah, and then she was like, like on well, second thought, yeah. And unfriended me. <laughs> Are you serious? No, yeah, straight up. Because why though? Because I guess I'm a lame if I don't know the difference. But of course I know the difference. I was just trying to have the conversation with her. You know what I'm saying? To right. get to this point, like right. of course I know the difference between brand retro. brand Jordans and retros. But why do you care? <laughs> but this is the problem, though. Yeah. And it and a, and I saw a lot of this doing, you know, with the whole R. Kelly thing and, and mm -hmm. a, a lot of other stuff. People, which I don't understand, and I posted something on this. People don't want people following them mm -hmm. that disagree with them. Man, you I know don't what? understand. I know that my case. boy did that. He said. Under no circumstances is it okay to hit a woman. I don't care. I don't want to hear. If you disagree, I'm unfriending you. Why though? Why? <laughs> why can't I give you? So, why can't I even have a conversation with you? Yes, about but I think this is what is happening in real life and real relationships, though. Yeah, you know what I mean. And which is why people, a lot of people, are single, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people are out there. You know, just kind of like don't have like a good circle around them around them because they cannot handle right people who disagree. They can't handle it. They can't handle. It. And you know why? Because they can't handle the conversation. They can't get analytical. Yeah. They can't express their thoughts. Because all their stuff is like right it's, here. It's surface. right there. Surface. You know what I'm saying? Just like people who might say some stupid shit like, I don't know, I only drink Heineken. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you tried it. Yo, I'm just a Heine person. Like, it's the, four I'm a billion, this type of person person. There's <laughs> four billion beers yeah. out here. Like, have <laughs> like, you tried this though? Right. Man, I only like Heinies or I only do this. I like, yo, I only wear Tim's or oh, I only do God. I can't stand them type of people. I want to be defined by some external yeah. source and I don't understand. Man, I, man, nothing defines me out here. Right, right. I'm like, I'm like, you feel well, me? everybody is like, bring it to me. I want to, I want to see it. I want to experience. I want to see, you yeah. know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm open to it, bro. I'm open. It's up to penis. I'm not so open to penis. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else. Don't open. be open to that, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm open to learning how somebody else's mind works. Me too. You know, because I, everybody knows, if you know me well enough, you know I love the brain. I think the brain is just like the bomb.com. But too. I'm open to learning, like, how does your brain yeah. see that? Me too. And interpret that. Yeah, I'm the same way. And if everybody thinks like me, it's boring as shit. Right. I like to get on people's posts and like, and say something. If, if, if I, you know, genuinely feel different. Uh -huh. I can't wait to type this up because people, I want to know what you're going to say. Yo, people don't be feeling that, though. <laughs> Why? Yo, when you come and in. And they call it surreal. trolling. It's not trolling. Not I trolling. have a different opinion. Yeah, and I happen to see this. <laughs> right. Did you not? Did, <laughs> what did you write it for? Out of the 10% algorithm, your yeah. shit came up on my feed and I happen to see it. Okay. Now, what are you writing this for? Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to. For everybody to click like. That's, that's what, it. basically, but I don't like a like. I would rather see my comments blow up. Yeah. Then a whole bunch of likes. Right. Like I said this, what do you think about it though? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you like it, but what you think about it? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Just like this girl, she 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 shared this mm -hmm. but was not open to conversation. She just wanted people to put one hundred up under yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, or, yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Because people are looking for validation through social media. They are. And when you disagree, you invalidate mm -hmm. them. And that that is such a shame. It is. It's such a shame. There is so much weight on social media mm -hmm. that when you disagree with a person, when they can't that have that that uh, healthy exchange with you, it's because you invalidate them. And it's that easy to invalidate you. Easy. If if it's that easy, then you you got issues, man. Yeah, yeah. You're not secure. Yeah. And people that put too much too much thought on branding and clothes and stuff is mm -hmm. uh, an insecurity. I try to teach uh, my son that, man, because. You know, he is like that right now. Mm. Yo, he know what kind of J's they are. 
He just saw a Maserati. I said, boy, where is a Maserati right there? I said, hey, that's a Maserati. You right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, how do you know that? Maserati <laughs> at knows. eight? He knows. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, daddy, I saw you got them Gucci shoes. I know they real Gucci because they got the... I don't even know. I know that my shoes <laughs> well, real, right but here. he said the green and the red and the green. Like either it got to be green, red, green, or red, green, red. And I'm not one of those people that know shit like that. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. But why would somebody make a Gucci replica and have the stripes out of order? Because that it, because these jokers get like lawsuits put on their ass for stuff like that. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be, but see, the common eye doesn't know. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All you see is the green, red, green stripe, or red, green, red, green and red, and you yeah, yeah just green and red Gucci. together, Gucci. and then automatically, yeah. If you see P R A D O, that's not Prada. Right. But your brain sees Prada. Your brain sees yeah. Prada. <laughs> you feel right, me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's basically what it is. So the people that care enough to research whether or not just like uh your boy said can't even wear a jersey they trying to peep your tag like why do you care mm -hmm. yeah why do you care what i got on man yeah just ain't nothing going on it's, it's like, weird man yeah. like it's it can't be if this is all that but but you know what it goes back to it always make me think of the malcolm x movie mm -hmm. where they didn't have nothing but all they wanted to do was look good out here in these streets you remember mm -hmm. when him and um mm -hmm. and what's his name wearing them clown suits I don't. Before, do you remember the movie? I don't. Okay, I well, remember the end. Okay, well, check this out. <laughs> um, not even saying that. Back when black people didn't have nothing, mm -hmm. they wanted to come out here and present themselves like they have yeah, something. Have mm -hmm. So when we, our clothes make it seem like we have something because people know how much them J's cost. Mm -hmm. But it only, we only can tell to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So only black people know certain back in the day certain mm -hmm. things. Right. Like I know how much them shoes cost. Mm hmm Like I know that's what brand, you must have in your bank account when you really got zip zero. Nothing. Zilch nada. <laughs> Nothing in the refrigerator. Right, yeah. Nothing at home. You you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you're not trying to or inspiring for nothing but fashion so that you can go out here and look like something. Where you know what I'm saying? You got a pot to piss in. But that goes back to the beginning. So, so all this stuff that we think of that we look down on now goes back to in history, man. Just like, for instance, man, New York, they have those uh, those projects, right? Mm -hmm. Where you can co ops. Not, I ain't talking about co ops. I'm talking about projects. Well, what a pro, what a pro, what? Okay, co ops are kind of up, upgraded projects. Not in New York. Co op is good, right? No. So the, the co-op co lot of projects. The brick buildings? Okay, yeah. yeah. Not, not, not those. The big, tall brick buildings. Right. I'm talking about the projects, though. They're separate. No. Yo, when I was in New York, I went to some, and we were in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. I went to some projects. They weren't co-ops. They were projects. Okay. Now, this lady had been living in this project for 70 years. In Seven this zero? Building. Seven zero. Okay. Okay. And when she dies, she can... Pass her apartment on mm -hmm. to one of her relatives. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is this is this to me that goes back to the same mindset. Like, why would the hell would you want to do that? I don't want to pass this on. This but level it, of living on. Right, but it's keeping people in a certain class system. So if I pass this to you and you looking forward to it, I keep you your generation in this same class system. Is that real? Yes. That's deep. <laughs> it yeah, is. That's like deep, deep. It's real, man. But we mentally, a lot of people are in that anyway, because just like how they give a damn about these shoes and they ain't got nothing else. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no good job. You don't have no education. You don't have no mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. Yet you putting a lot into what you got on your feet. Got a mattress on the floor.